Happy Sunday, everyone, and welcome to the third Sunday of the Advent season. We're going to continue on with the third part of the story of Christmas. So come along and join me. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Luke 2, 7. Just before Mary was about to have her baby, Joseph had to travel to his hometown, Bethlehem, to pay taxes. Bethlehem was so full of people, there was no room left for them. A kind kinkeeper said that they could stay where he kept his animals. That night, Mary had her baby. God's son was born in a stable. In the stillness of the night, he came, God's gift of Christmas. The one who would save the world. His mother wrapped him in cloths and lovingly placed him in a manger. Jesus calling. The message of Christmas is my birth. I gave up all the amazing riches of heaven to become a helpless baby. My birth, life, death, and resurrection allowed everyone who believes in me to become a child of God. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Luke 2.12 In a nearby field, shepherds were watching over their flocks. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord was shining around them. Do not be afraid, the angel said. I bring good news that will, that will be great joy for all people. Today in Bethlehem, the city of David, the Savior has been born. He is the Messiah, Christ the Lord. Suddenly, a great crowd of angels lit up the sky, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. The shepherds ran quickly to find the baby Jesus. Then they told everyone about what they had seen and heard. Jesus calling. The angel's words to the shepherds were full of great news and great joy. I came into the world to be your savior so you can live with me forever. We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Matthew 2, 2. Wise men from the east followed a bright shining star. They visited King Herod and asked, Where is the young child, the king of the Jews? We saw his star and we have come to worship him. King Herod was not happy. When you find him, tell me so I can worship him. He lied. The star led the wise men straight to Jesus and they were filled with great joy. We have come to worship your son, they told Mary. They presented their treasure chests of gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and bowed down to worship him. Jesus calling. Christmas is a time to be joyful because it's when I came to this earth and lived in your world. I am the greatest gift, better than all the gifts you will ever receive. That completes the third part of the story of Christmas. You can come back next week on Sunday to hear the final part of the story of Christmas. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and stay tuned for the lighting of the third candle, which is the rose candle, a warning to us that Christmas is almost near. Light three candles and sit for a moment in silence. Christ, our joy, brighten our homes with your presence. 
clarify our vision so that we might see you in the people we cherish. Make every holiday activity an opportunity to spread your light and love. We await your coming with the light. Amen.